in case y'all didn't know, this is now the review channel. Yeah, that's what the <laughs> algorithm told us to do. So if you yeah. want to see us play stupid ass horror games and be dumb, subscribe to play titles and live titles. Yep. Or just play like general games in general. Anyway, today we're talking about Black Myth Wukong. Ooh wee. Now this game's been pretty highly anticipated amongst the the real gamers out here, the real nick. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna talk about our boy Jose's experience in the first two hours of it. You have a couple first impressions, and you know, for anyone who isn't aware, you have about two hours on Steam before you can return a game. So we're basically gonna tell you whether or not you should keep it or return it based off our experience in the intro. Yes, we are. We swear we are not prime offenders of people who play for like an hour and fifty minutes and then return it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be like that. Don't be a scumbag. Yeah, don't be that guy. Okay, we just do it because we have to. <laughs> and we're only going to be talking about the intro in the first two hours of the game, but we do have a lot more play time than that. It's not a full review; it's just a first impression. So, with that said, what do you think about the gameplay, my boy? When it comes down to this game, all right, it really, really, I, I know a lot of people were like, it's like, it's not a complete Souls like, but I'm not going front. It kind of gives that Souls like feel it kind of has like the same premise between like the little, the little shrines that you go to so that like you need to like upgrade your character, you know, buy items, blah, 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 blah. But then once you rest at that shrine to get all your stuff back, everything just respawns. You at least do not have to deal with the issue of when you die, you lose all your shit which is great <laughs> but overall like gameplay wise dude i fucking i love games like this there's so much so far that i've seen in regards to just their overall like combat system and everything that i'm a lot further in than like the first two hours but i'm trying to like explain these first two hours and the first two hours i thought i was actually getting like a bunch of shit just because of like how quick i was leveling up and boy, I barely scratched the surface of anything, and I'm like way further in now. So it's actually kind of crazy. Uh, combat wise, dude, it's just fluid. It's just nice as hell. You get a, uh, your dodges in this game are like, you can perform a normal dodge and like get out of, or like, you know, like dodge the enemy's move without taking any damage. But if you perform a perfect dodge, dude, it's the most satisfying thing in this game. Like, it has, like, a crazy good sound effect, and the way your guy just steps out the way is smooth as fuck. Makes you feel like a fucking legend. Makes you feel like Wukong? Dude, like, you have no <laughs> idea. Like, I, I'm so upset that you haven't even, like, touched it yet, but I can't wait till you actually get, like, get your hands on it to try it out. I mean, you, you know I'm nice at these third-person action-adventure games, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing. Like, I can't wait to see, like, the you, like, perform those perfect dodges. And... In general, there's so far what what I've gotten into and what I got to like kind of kind of dive into is there's like different stances depending on the the stance that you choose. It completely affects the way that uh, like your lights and your heavy attacks hit. You can upgrade each stance individually, and you could like use all three stances at once, as in like you could just swap between them like mid combat, and it's actually like super smooth and super fluid. And they each have like their own kind of like advantage or perk depending on the kind of enemy you're going against. So it's one of those games where it's just like once you kind of get the the feel for it and you really like like understand like the enemy types and you know like what they're capable of doing and what you're capable of doing, you are able to pull off some crazy ass moves that make you feel badass as hell. At the same time, some of these en enemies are fucking wild, my guy. I literally probably within the first like 30 minutes of the game 30 45 minutes i will say this game i feel like they they kind of threw the normal enemies at you and they're like all right these are kind of cool but they threw in hella like mini bosses and i felt like every time i turned a corner it was like boom new boss fight boom mini boss like boom secret boss like it was fucking crazy but it was so like it's so dope going through it because it's it's just one of those where it's like damn like you're going in here just ready to fuck something up and you think you're kind of breezing through and then they really shut your ass down real quick to like force you to kind of like learn other mechanics and learn other ways to get around shit so overall like gameplay has been one of those things for me so far that it's just so like it's been captivating as hell i haven't like i haven't wanted to play anything else 
like since I started it, and I've been kind of just going through and just adventuring all around trying to find all the the secret stuff. All right, so gameplay wise, what are we saying? Are we saying it's solid, or are we saying what, what are we doing? Dude, gameplay wise, this this for me is like it's solid. Like I gotta give it like I give it like a solid nine out of ten. I only I'm only dropping off that one point. I'm not gonna lie because I'm just a little salty about certain things that I'll talk about in our final review that make it lose that one point. But but we'll get into it. <laughs> All right. Next thing, how the, how did it perform for you? You run into any problems? Uh, performance wise, I'll be completely honest. Performance, it was it was pretty solid. Uh, I was running at a solid like ninety to one hundred FPS at, at like all times, um, and that's like while recording. So I feel like if I wasn't recording at the same time, it probably would have been even better. Um, I did not put like ray tracing or anything like that on. So I'm pretty sure if I like threw in that ray tracing, it probably would have dropped down significantly. Yeah, uh, ray tracing kills yeah, everything. Yeah, ray tracing just murders. <laughs> um, but overall, like performance wise, I had like no issues um, in regards to to like any like frame issues or anything like that i did run into like some minor small glitches in the game where one of my things is like there's certain there's certain boss fights where once you're in it they purposely kind of like lock you down into like you know their little arena and my problem was that in one of these arenas the boss i was fighting I would beat his ass too much into one of the invisible barriers that he would glitch through it. And then I couldn't attack him anymore. And this was a boss that I was stuck on for a hot minute. So, so when I was sitting here beating this dude's ass for like the 20, 30th time, and I thought of like this was the one run and then I glitched him through the freaking wall and then I couldn't do anything because then he just hits me with like AOEs that he can perform from outside this barrier that made me like so upset i i I had to take a break after that one (laughs) um but overall besides like that minor little glitch and it was only just specifically for one boss um i think overall like performance like i i didn't run into any like overall like frame rate issues and i didn't run into like any like crazy glitches in the game so for anybody that's been watching the video up to this point you can probably already see that this game looks great but you know i want to hear your opinion on it and, and you know we just we need to know from the the man who played it himself so i will tell you right now graphics wise these graphics are fucking phenomenal and on top of the performance actually being like pretty like great the entire time as well this shit looks so nice and like i said based off of like they've really set an amazing aesthetic for like just the the entire the entire like like every area you go into just kind of has you in awe it's just it's it's so good i felt like i was in that forest i feel like i was jumping around them fucking trees i was slapping the shit out of these fucking yo guy because they fucking deserved it <laughs> they did a great job at at just setting the stage for what they were going for so all right so i think given everything in the review they could probably already tell what your final thoughts are going to be but y'all gonna keep this fucking game all right <laughs> you return this shit it's only because you're bad at it <laughs> just <laughs> you heard it here if you return it you're a hater yeah 100 <laughs> percent. nah i i will say that that i it definitely it's definitely one of those games like it it, ha- it definitely has its own fan base you know what i mean um just based off of like the play style of it like not a lot of people are gonna like you know the kind of adventure game like soul not souls like but kind of like the the play style of like souls ish yeah um but overall it's just it, it's really it's i think it's amazing i love games like this um so i might have a little bit of a biased opinion just based off of the fact that i just love the gameplay of it um but even if you're just trying to just get a game that just looks nice and you're really just trying to take in that scenery and stuff and like really see where like how games are progressing in regards to like graphics and stuff like this is like one of those games where i'm like damn like 
even if I didn't like the way the game played, I'd probably just play through it just to see like all the fucking nice stages they set up. So buy this shit. Black yep. Myth Wukong, buy that shit. Buy that shit. And then we'll be back with a final review once this man plays it himself. And this man beats it. Yeah. Matter, and then matter of fact, we, we ain't reviewing nothing unless this video gets 5 million likes. <laughs> this, this man said, fuck it. 5 million likes. 5 million likes is crazy, bro. All right. Uh, on that note, peeps, we out. Waking every day, I don't see shit change. Trying to figure out what I can do about it. Trying to put my crew on, but this shit is too small. Maybe it's a stretch, nigga. We could even rock it. Yeah, we gotta lift off, but this shit is too slow. Lily, y'all been feeling like this motherfucker stalling. Seeing rock bottom and the sight is so appalling. Had to take.